All right, Bob, thank you. Back now to an NBC Connecticut exclusive this morning. Their top is often shrouded in stigma. We're talking about suicide and mental health, but a local nonprofit's working to shatter that stigma and save lives. And they're doing it through the healing power of music, giving instruments and lessons to young people who are struggling while keeping a Milford man's memory alive. This park is where I feel like I connect with them. Depression is a liar. It convinced Jamie Jameson's little brother, Alex, that he was alone in this world. With Alex, it always said, not a lot of friends, not a lot of friends. His funeral proved otherwise. Uh, the night of the service, uh, there, the doorman told us that he lost track over 1,200 people that had gone through the door. It went down blocks of the green. It, it was unbelievable. I, unbelievable. Alex died by suicide in 2019, just 22 years old. Alex has become like a friend that I never got to meet. Joe Leck didn't know Alex, but today, in the Milford Skate Park that bears his name, he's helping Joe feel less alone. I never found my pain. the latest recipient of an instrument and music lessons from the Alex Jordan Jameson Foundation. The nonprofit Jamie founded with Steve Gordier, a musical mentor to Alex growing up. Finding another avenue to to focus your time into and to and to feel positive about things, I think that's those are some of the best things that music can provide for anybody at any age. It seemed like music was a way to reach people, yeah, and let them see some self worth, right? Because that was the one place where where Alex felt worthy, like where I feel like he could see through his depression. There was just something missing before I found the guitar. Whenever I'm feeling anxious or, or stressed, if I have my guitar handy, I, I just pick it up and start strumming. Saving lives with a song, a fitting tribute to Alex, who once wrote on Instagram, if I could do one thing in life, it would be to help anyone who feels this low and get them to feel loved and supported. I'm better now. I hope Alex knows now that he wasn't alone, that he, w that he was loved that he is loved, right, that he was, that he was a lot more than he saw himself as. I hope he's better now. And if you know someone who may benefit from an instrument or music lessons, you can head to HHAfoundation.org. Yeah, what a beautiful and creative way. Yeah, it's just to, such, such a love, expression of love for his brother. It's really touching. Legacy. <clears throat> and if you know somebody or you yourself need help, you can reach out to the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. We're going to put that number on your screen. It's 800-273-8255. We'll be back right after this.